Hi guys, I'm going to start a new series of postbag videos. Um, I get a lot of stuff uh, from China, AliExpress, Banggood, places like that. Um, I'm always getting this stream of packages through the post, the various projects, electronical items, and things that just catch my eye. I thought it would be a good idea just to uh, video the unbagging of them and give you a brief explanation of what they are and what I plan to do with them. Uh, I'll give you some uh, links in the description uh, to the places where I bought them. Now I do have affiliate uh, systems with places like AliExpress uh, so if I can get the link to be affiliate I will make an affiliate link. You don't have to do anything just if you press you go on the link and go to that site uh, you'll, and you make an order you'll, uh, you'll get a few pennies going towards me not a lot but it does help um, so yeah I've got a few parcels here and I think I'll just go through them I have to excuse the noise if you can hear my 3D printer in the background it's busy uh, doing a 3D hubs order uh, so I apologise uh, if you can hear that in the background uh, so without further ado let's open up these parcels and see what's inside okay so these are some of the parcels I'm going to open today uh, a couple I've opened because I've had to deal with them already off camera but I'll uh, I'll open them as if they were new and I'll explain what they are and what's happened with them shift these ones out of the way this is the first one So in here we have got a 18650 battery charger a module. And you push on the end. This is where you would put your 18650 battery. Uh, it's got a little charging circuit inside. Uh, it's just a little power bank portable. Now this was supposed to be a metal uh, anodized metal case uh, but as you can see it is white plastic uh, so I've opened a dispute with AliExpress uh, saying that the item was not as described uh, in about a week I was able to get a re full refund and not return the goods so that's okay I probably will use this um, maybe strip it down use the parts I just think it looks horrible These boards, focuses. These boards are small 18650 or LiPo uh, charging circuits. Uh, there's five of them. These are quite common at the moment, very cheap. Uh, I think they're about 30p each. Uh, but the unusual one on these is these are micro USB ports rather than the standard uh, mini that you tend to get with them. I just thought I'd get these, maybe use a bit of a stronger connector. Um, so we'll see see what I do with these upcoming projects. Nothing in particular in mind yet, but they're always handy to keep in, just so you've got a ready uh, charging circuit with onboard uh, protection, which is these two here. Next parcel I also opened up on off camera. This is actually two separate parcels, I'll put it all into one. Uh, this is a handy little uh, gadget for my photography. It's kind of a Swiss Army knife of connectors. It comes in several parts. Uh, you have various screws and little lugs and it is essentially connectors and adapters uh, to fit together quarter inch uh, and is it three eighths inch correct me if I'm wrong uh, screw threads for light stands uh, flash mounts tripods etc and it's whenever you need one of those times where you need a connector that fits from a light stand to a three eighths to a three to a quarter inch and back again should always have uh, should have that situation covered. Always handy. Pop it in my camera bag, and the one day that I need it, 
that we're there ready. Very handily, they all connect, connect up together so they stay in one part. Other item. These are dip sockets. Um, these are going to be used for primarily they're going to be building some uh, Arduino using the Atmel Atmega uh, 32 is it I believe. Um, these will go onto a circuit board and the chip will go inside. Uh, there's 10, very well wrapped, very well protected and they were really cheap, I think less than a pound for all these 10. Uh, again I'll put all these links into the description of where I've got all these, all the sellers from AliExpress. Okay, these are actual brand new items that I don't know uh, what are. So, always seems very easy to open these bags on when you watch YouTube clips. But actually doing it on camera is incredibly difficult. Okay. That is it. Yep. Bit of a hole there. What have we got here? Very well wrapped. Uh -huh. uh, two items from one seller. Uh, it, this is a LED remote control, credit card style remote control, uh, no battery, I don't believe it has a battery, try and cut on cut costs. And this is to control any infrared receiver, uh, I'm going to do a project where it will be a night light or a um, LED changing bulb. And this will enable you to have a remote control where you can program the colours, uh, the brightness, the effects. Essentially you have to do it yourself using a microcontroller, um, get an, an infrared library and you just program the commands that the remote sends to an infrared receiver and do with them what you, what you may. And this was just a quick item I got. Most of these I've got on the 1111 uh, sale from AliExpress. Uh, this is a one meter uh, LED uh, fairy light uh, thread. They're just tiny little LEDs that are soldered onto a copper wire. Need a couple of coin batteries. Should have some somewhere. Uh, and it's got a little switch on and off. These are things that you would put in a vet in a vase or you'd wrap around some dry flowers. Uh, just thought I'd uh, bring some festive festive notes to the flat. And that was 80p. It's a bargain. This one, last one. I do how I do it at work. Go. Let's do that. Okay, what have we got here? It's always good to see them well wrapped from the AliExpress sellers. Sometimes you get them and they're just rattling around. And here we go, really well wrapped. Aha! This uh, is a NeoPixel W8. Uh, 2812 uh, RGB LEDs, uh, and this is essentially what most people call is a clock uh, LED. So there are four strips uh, of the LEDs, and uh, you would solder them together to make a full circle. Uh, and I believe it gives you 60 uh, individual near pixels. Uh, that you can individually address, so connect it to a microcontroller, create a clock or any kind of circular display. I've always wanted to do one of those clocks, there's various different designs, 
got this on the sale uh, and it was really cheap so always wanted one here we go so that is my post bag for today hope you've enjoyed that if you have uh, I'll continue to do them uh, let me know what you think any questions uh, leave some comments if you like it give us a thumbs up cheers